Mic drop! <laughs> uh, guys, it's time to meet our guest. Um, Pooch Hall is currently on Showtime's Ray Donovan, although he's most notably known for his time on the CW and the BET's The Game. Uh, he's an incredible actor who's even more incredible in person, and that's why you're about to meet him. Ladies and gentlemen, Pooch Hall! <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. How y'all feel? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're in a hot theater. They're feeling like, get out of here. <laughs> How no, you doing? I'm great, bro. Um, I was just backstage listening to the old, y'all hot? Yeah. I mean, the AC's on. I feel good. <laughs> no, I just I think Pooch Hall feels good all the time. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm, I'm cool. You know, I'm, I, I'm the Fonz, bro, so it's all good. Nice. But, uh... Jeez, yeah. where, where can I get a bottle of what you're drinking, man? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> man, if I oh. walked around like that, I wouldn't be like, there he goes! It's, I, you know what, he, you're, you're air conditioned in your you pants. You know what I mean? I, w I came relaxed, but, like, I was backstage listening to, um, the millennials and all that. That's hilarious, bro. It's true. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't mention a sketch from a previous show because I'm like this. No, that's a different episode. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. So, um, Pooch, how's Ray Donovan? Ray's great, man. Ray's great. So, um, first and foremost, I, I want to say thank you to all the fans and all the people who came uh, out to support, who have been supporting. Um, I got some family, friend members in the audience who are out here who just got a big job. So, I want to shout them out, Kim and Stephanie in the building. Um, yeah. yeah. Jesus. I uh, feel like, I feel like you literally just had sex with someone with that eye. <laughs> it was so, I, even I was like, oh my God, I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, it's just one of these things, man, where, um, as you work, whether it's on the game or, or Ray Donovan, you, you, you meet amazing people, um, people who are, on the come up and, and so forth, and you, you, you build these relationships. And um, I'm very fortunate to have people and friends who I call friends in this industry, because it's tough, to where it's like, I want to see them win as I'm winning, and so forth and so on. And being on Ray Donovan, um, it's, it's, uh, it's a blessing. Um, I'm, 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 I'm blessed. Nice. Blessed. So. so I mean, you just haven't done Ray Donovan. You also were on The Game. Yeah. Um, but before that, so how'd you get involved in um, acting? Because was that like your original passion? Man, let me just, I, I was like, yo, I just want to do something special. I felt that was special and um, I got lucky. Um, I went to school. Uh, I didn't graduate, mm -hmm. um, but I went for three years at UMass Dartmouth. Um, I played football, but it was one of these things to where it's like, listen, don't let nobody tell you, like, yo, if you don't go to college, you will not make it. I did not graduate, and I'm doing my thing. Um, I applied myself towards the passion of, of being a, an actor, an entertainer, and I, everything that I learned in school, I applied to, you know, being an entertainer. So um, I got very fortunate, and I kind of got in right as the door closed, because now it's all about, like, reality stars and which that's fine you know youtube being, personalities internet personalities all that, that's, a lot is, of the talent that has run the industry for so long has been sucked out and replaced with people who just have good numbers online totally um and i felt like i got in right when that door closed and you know from the game to like ray donovan and then the stuff that i have coming out uh which mm -hmm. you guys will be seeing soon um, I'm very fortunate, man, and um, and my talent is definitely rising to the top. Um, and then the fact that, you know, I'm able to kind of like do my thing to where the fans and, you know, what have you is like, yo, we like Pooch Hall and like we want to see what else is Pooch doing. So, um, I'm, I'm, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, that's what it is. Was it, um, uh, just to go back, so you were on The Game, mm -hmm. and that was an originally a uh, CW show. Sure. And then it got moved to the BET. Yeah. And it was even more successful there. Yeah. And so once that ended, um, 
and Ray Donovan came along, are you now just like taking offers left and right for work, or what? What does the future hold for Pooch? Um, there's no, there is no limit. Like I feel like there's nothing I can't do, and given what's happening since Ray Donovan, what what's coming out has been amazing. Like, um, um, so we have a film called The Bleeder that I I am in with Leah Schreiber and Naomi Watts. Ron Perlman, Michael Rappaport, Jim Gaffigan, where I play... He Ma just keeps going. Yeah. <laughs> where I play Muhammad Ali and um, Leah Schreiber plays um, Chuck Wepner. It's the original Rocky. It's what spawned the Rocky series. Mm -hmm. uh, and the film's called The Bleeder. And we just got accepted to the uh, Toronto and the Venice Film Festival, uh, which awesome. is huge. Hey, yeah. Nice. And to be playing the greatest... I mean, you know, as a fighter, because I did, I boxed um, coming up um, as a youth in Massachusetts. I grew up in Massachusetts, uh, Brockton. Ooh, you yeah. a Red Sox fan? No. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I was very fortunate to um, take my skills as far as being a fighter and bringing them to, you know, the big screen. Mm -hmm. And to be able to play Muhammad Ali, Rest in peace, the greatest. I mean, I mean, what he did for us as a people, um, we can never stop talking about him. Um, but it it wouldn't happen, it wouldn't happen for me without being on Ray Donovan. Mm -hmm. And Liev was just like, I think you have what it takes to, you know, bless this character as far as the greatest, and like I think you have what it takes as far as like all the traits that what made Ali Ali. I, I see a lot of those things like in you. So um, once I got the opportunity, the audition, I put in the work and made it happen. Um, but even before Ray Donovan, like being on the game, we went five seasons playing Derwin and, you know, just constantly just, you know, strengthening my skills and getting ready for this next level. I mean, Cause that's where I feel. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like I'm on the next level on my way. So um, I'm ready. Well. You know, Pooch, I feel like if they said there's a man landing on Mars tomorrow, I'd be like, I think it's probably Pooch Hall. Because <laughs> you seem like the kind of guy, if they offer that to you, you're like, yeah, I'll learn to be an astronaut today. <laughs> and then you'd be on Mars. Without a spacesuit. Without Listen. a spacesuit. How's that possible? Because I'm a mutant. Listen, you're a mutant. let me tell you something. Sure. Um, I always felt, and this, okay, so you know what they say is like, it's, you're not cocky, you're confident. I've always had a confidence to where it's just like, I always found myself or saw myself in this industry and like for us to work in this industry, we know we belong here to constantly give the, the world this entertainment or a piece of us to where it's just like, okay, I watched you know, that show and I watched that actor and it's just like, he did something for me. And I think that's our job as entertainers to make sure that we are entertaining because sometimes people will take a time out of their lives just to tune into us. Mm -hmm and be like, okay, can you take me away from whatever bullshit or whatever that's going on to where I hate right now or just make me laugh or make me think or make, give me some, you know, um, some type of um, encouragement or um, just to make me say, you know what, I don't want to do this. Let me go, you know, do, do this over here because I've always wanted to do that but I never really had the uh, support. And I'm from a town that people looked at, you know, being an actor was like, oh, it's only in Hollywood, that's, that's not real, go get a real job. And like now that I'm doing it, people are kind of like, uh, yeah, so um, what did you do again? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm very, I'm very lucky and, and fortunate and, um, and happy to be where I'm at. Awesome. Well, the, the, the confidence is well justified because you're very talented. Thank you, buddy. When your uh, new movie comes out, will you come back and visit us again? Absolutely. Fantastic. Pooch Hall, everyone! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching After Dark with <laughs> Julian Clark. Another round of applause for Garrett. Maureen and the Mercury Five, Pooch For After Dark, I'm Julian Clark. Good night. <laughs>
like Goldilocks, it just feels right. <laughs>